Wait till I bite my tongue, then you'll hear me scream, you'll run away. <laughs> okay, Diego, eat your food. This is enough. I've had enough. I've had enough now, Diego. Farki is picking up all the leaves. Yeah, it's almost autumn. I think it is actually autumn now here in South Africa. And uh, no, don't take Charlie away again. Look at him being silly. He eats all the leaves. Do you like those leaves, Farki? Yeah, he loves it. <laughs> Guinea pigs are eating over here. The chicken. The flutes, <laughs> but the monkeys were the happiest to see me this morning. He likes to carry things around like that. Zina, MacGyver, he was the happiest to see me this morning. But I don't touch him. I can touch any of the monkeys except MacGyver. There's MacGyver. <laughs> Bella! Yeah, you gotta watch for him. Little Bella. <laughs> no rings on her fingers. Nope. She hasn't made one in a week. <laughs> hey! He's got to leave as well. <laughs> Madison! They just got yogurt now. Billy's still licking the last bit out of that little container. And Madison as well. Bella! Oh yes, and before I forget, we've got little chicks. There they are. Look at that. They just made the nest right here in the pot. There's the mom. <laughs> There's 11 of them. Come on, mama. You can do better than that. Yeah, that's better. <laughs> Cutest little things you can find. Farky! You're getting a little fat, Farky! <laughs> Zina, can you believe your fat he's gotten? And first thing that happens when he gets out of his area is the chickens go in. And they go and find stuff to eat. <laughs> yeah. Junior! Junior is just showing Farky that he shouldn't get any ideas. Lost it's quiet. Whew, okay, I just fed the dogs. Enzo, check out these little ducks. <laughs> yeah, they are amazing. And Diego. 
Are you guys ready to eat? I think I should feed them first before I go live. Then I don't need to carry the stuff outside. Because guys, it's heavy. Yeah, Diego, those chickens are heavy. You won't believe how heavy they get. And I'm, I'm a normal, strong kind of person. I can carry things. I can lift a 70 kilogram weight and carry it. How do I know that? Because I've carried 270 gram, uh, kilogram batteries last week. <laughs> yeah, my back wasn't feeling great about it, Enzo. Oh, you got two ticks in your neck. Oh no, we gotta get them off. <laughs> Just don't bite them, Enzo. <laughs> Diego, don't you bite them either. I wonder if when they've played, they've bitten. Well, Dick's dead. <laughs> In each other's necks. Hey, Diego, that's a question we don't have an answer for. Yeah, these questions arise as we go along. <laughs> and that's how you know how much somebody knows about something. You see what question they come with. Enzo, come here. Let me pull them off. Let's see if I can get them. Move this way. Is about, well, guys, that's, that's 40 centimeters from me. I'm not going to do this. No, can't. No way. You're too far. Come a little closer, Enzo. Or just scrape alongside the fence like you always do. You're, go you're going to get them off immediately. Inky is coming this way. Yeah, he is always... Where is he now? There he is. Inky! I just remembered the first time I heard his name. I was probably about eight years old. I was riding my BMX bicycle around the neighborhood, just doing nothing. And all of a sudden, I bursted out laughing at the name Inky. And for guys who don't know that, in Afrikaans, it's a little duck. It's called the Inky. <laughs> and I remember just having to stop with my bicycle to finish that laugh. I don't know why I just remembered that, but that's what I just remembered. <laughs> I don't know but I think I knew I was gonna get a duck that's really funny called Inky one day Inky <laughs> and this one as well look at that but they mess around here quite a lot if you're gonna get ducks believe me guys you're gonna clean up after them and oh, those dogs just don't stop with their barking but hey, let me get going. I fed the dogs. I'm gonna feed the tigers. I'm gonna feed the cats. And then I'm done. I've got another job that I'm busy with. I hope I can finish it today. I don't think I will, but I'm gonna do my best. But I better get going and get everything done now. <laughs> Alright Diego, be ready, we're going live in about an hour. Okay, so we are ready to eat. Hey Diego, well I'm not going to join you guys, I'm not going to eat with you. you. You can have this for yourself. I'm still having trouble getting the chickens frozen. It's been a week and I still don't have them frozen. Layla! So they are, they're good. They are a little, well, let's just say not frozen as well as I would like them to be. But they are still good. Diego. <laughs> Dainty. Enzo. <laughs> These chickens are huge. Guys, you don't understand how difficult it is when you are facing so many <laughs> obstacles i mean how do you get chickens this big frozen that's the thing 
You have to wait. Doesn't matter what temperature you apply to it. There's a certain time for it to absorb that, well, let's just say negative heat energy. If I have to give it a name in my, well, professional opinion. Because, <laughs> yeah, I did study it. But it's not easy to get it frozen. There's a heat exchange period that needs to be met. Otherwise, you ain't going to get them frozen. So, yeah, I guess if it took the mammoths, I think it was about 300,000 mammoths, five minutes to freeze at minus 300 degrees C when a certain thing happened. <laughs> no, we got no excuse. Come on, we got no excuse, all you doggies. We can get them frozen in a day or two. We should be able to. But, okay, I guess minus 300 degrees Celsius is not something you just pack out and apply. It's not exactly your normal room temperature. And you know what they say about room temperature? Doesn't matter what temperature a room is, it's always room temperature. Uh, don't listen to me. That's almost like the fuel price. It's never gone up, guys. Every time I stop at the service station and I ask them for well, let's say the value of, let's say, let's say $20 of fuel. They give me $20 of fuel. So it's never gone up. <laughs> and so, <laughs> yeah, maybe we should look at things that way. Then we're going to understand things better. Yeah, don't try and figure it out. It's not something to figure out. But hey, I've got things to do I need to get those chickens frozen and if you think you can't get them frozen by doing anything else you're wrong in South Africa you can you can maybe connect well alternate onto your bicycle and start pedaling and store that energy into a battery and put it through an inverter to convert it to 220 volts uh, 50 hertz and then you will apply that to a certain fridge that's packed full of chicken and you might just get them frozen quicker during the load shedding periods <laughs> but that's what I'm working on I'm getting my inverter well it's just we can't, can't call it installed <laughs> I'm getting it to help out in the difficult moments. But yeah, I better get going again. I've still got the cats to feed. Enzo, yeah, those chickens are perfect on the inside. It's just the little bit of green that's starting to form on the outside. And I can see how when they were designed, especially for human consumption, I could see how it's a good thing that they turn green quick and uh, <laughs> that would basically make people live longer let's just say that but before we go there let's rather finish this video well guys that's it thanks for watching I'll see you guys in the live a bit later and like always have a great day well, just look at these little chickens. They are just hanging out over here. Happy as can be with their mom. Hey, Zina! <laughs> yeah, happy little chickens.